Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be talking about does order really matter when you're adding two add-ins in a number sentence? So what you can see here, I have some gummy worms and I have some candy corns because the picture is always good to help us out when we're making these little experiments like we are today. So let's go ahead, let's build our equation. Let's figure out what our add-ins are going to be here. So my first add-in is going to be one, two, three, four, five. And my second add-in is going to be one, two, three, four. So as you can see, it's five plus four equals, and I gotta figure out what my sum is going to be. So using these pictures, we can help, we can help ourselves figure it out. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be our sum. Let's use another strategy too. Let's use counting on. So when we count on, usually we would put the bigger number in our brain and then count on the smaller number. So it'd be a little bit easier for us. So we're gonna put a, our five in our head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there we have nine. Now, this is where it's gonna get a little tricky because what I wanna do now, I wanna flip flop, I wanna switch up my add ends up here. So I don't wanna have five first. I wanna now put four first. So let's bring down our candies. And they are gonna help us again with our counting. So we know four is now going first, and then we are going to have our five. So let's go ahead, let's count them. I'm hoping we're still gonna get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We did, we did. Now we can count on, now granted, I do like to use the larger number first, but since we have pictures, we could start with our first add end, put four in our brain and count on. Let's see if it really matters. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we did it. So we did determine that if we have two add ends and we're adding them, we could flip flop them and we're still going to get the same sum. But let's see, does it only work with five and four or could it work with something else? So uh, hold tight, get ready for another example. Okay, boys and girls, and we're back. So now you can see, I changed up my candy a little bit. My numbers are also gonna be different. Let's figure out what my add-ins are gonna be here. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be my first add-end. Let's see what my second one is. One, two, three. So let's go ahead, let's count our candies and see what we have. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's also use our counting on strategy as a help too. We'll double check our work. So we'll put four in our brain, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Totally worked. So now let's see, will I be able to flip flop four and three? Will I be able to turn around four and three, those add-ins? Will I still get seven? Let's see. So now, let me bring down my candies. It's always good to have that visual as a helper here. All right, so now, starting with three and then four. Okay, so here we go. I'm hoping it's seven. Will the order matter? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looked like it worked. All right, well, let's do our counting on. Now, you know how I always like to start with my bigger number and count on the smaller one, but since we have pictures, we totally could help us out. So I could say three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so it really doesn't matter. Even if you start with the smaller number and count on the larger number, you're still gonna get that same sum. Well, boys and girls, let's talk about what we figured out today. We talked about, does order really matter when you add? And guess what? 
It really doesn't because why? You're counting all of these numbers up. You're putting all of these pictures, these candies together. So no matter what, you're still gonna get the same sum. You, I could put other numbers out here. I could put six and one, I could put eight and nine, I could put five and two. You're still going to get the same add end if you flip them around. If you change the order of the add ends, it's not going to matter. Adding, that's the great thing about adding because you're just grouping them all together. Well, boys and girls, I hope you liked our little tutorial on discussing does order really matter when you add? As I always say, please try and practice some of this at home. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.